Even from whatever part of the world you are in, we are back with another exciting day of the Master Spotlight. I am joined by uh, many amazing people here today, so I'm not even not even going to introduce them. I'm going to let them do the honors for that. But we are here. Um, and we're excited. We're going to hear this great presentation. And without further ado, because there's so many people, I'm going to go ahead and bump off Max. I'm going to go ahead and hand you the mic and maybe start with some introductions, and we'll jump right into the presentation. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much and also very warm welcome uh, from my side. So my, my name is uh, Maximilian Schreiter. I'm an assistant professor at HHL and the program director of our MEM uh, finance track. And today it will be my great pleasure to give you a brief introduction about our university, about our programs. Um, and maybe then also afterwards a little bit about the beautiful city of Leipzig and how to find, let's say, your, your, your way to us. As these are pretty many points. I'm not doing that alone, but I'm actually joined, uh, fortunately, by three of our current students, which will introduce themselves in a moment, and um, also by, by Jana. Um, yeah, she will also introduce herself probably best. Yeah? So let's take a little bit of an introductory round. Maybe, Christable, would you go first? Hello, everyone. Uh, very warm welcome to this live session. So my name is uh, Christabel Brito. I'm uh, from India, and I uh, currently do my master in management in the general management uh, stream. I'm uh, looking forward to this meeting with everyone. OK, thank you very much. Then maybe Samarudi, are you going next? Um, yes. So um, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Samruti. Um, I come from Mumbai in India. And I am um, doing the finance track with Etosha. And I'm also looking forward to the session. OK, thank you very much. And then we continue with Fabian. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so my name is Fabian. I'm uh, also a master in management student in the finance track. And I also look, obviously, a lot uh, forward to, to meeting you all today. Okay, thanks. And then last but not least, uh, Jana, quick introduction. Yeah, very, very warm welcome from my side as well. Uh, my name is Jana and I work for ATHL since almost 20 years. And I'm the director of broken marketing and also responsible for the recruitment for our master management programs. Okay, thanks. Great. And now you guys just have to help me a little bit. So you are seeing my screen, my presentation. Not yet. Okay. Not, so not yet. Okay. Ah, there it is. Great. Now. Okay. So now it should work. Very good. So then, yeah, let us uh, let us start maybe a little bit about the um, setup of that session. Yeah. So. We obviously want to give you um, more than enough time to, to ask your questions. So we will cut it short at some parts, uh, not go too deep into all the details. Um, and you guys are like super invited to, to ask your questions uh, via, the, via the chat. And we are, we are like super happy to, to answer them. Yeah. OK, so then let me start. And probably it's a good idea to first give you some insights, a little bit of a brief introduction um, on HHL, where we are located, what we stand for, what is our basic idea. Yeah? So um, we are obviously located in Germany. I believe this is something you know. Actually, pretty much in the, in the heart of Germany, um, in, in Leipzig, that's uh, south of Berlin. I, I didn't add uh, Berlin here to, to the slide, but uh, as I said, a bit uh, to the north from, from Leipzig. And this is our main campus and this is where we have been founded already in 1898 so we are actually the oldest um, German business school um, then obviously during the GDR time before the wall um, came down HHL still existed but let's say not as a real business school and it was then after reunification um, let's say refounded at the beginning of the 90s and now we have already a history again of, of roughly 30 years and as you guys may know um, in that time we have made it back again to the top of the rankings yeah? so we are actually um, the number two ranked business school in Germany um, I think 
believe we are now number 23 um, with our MEM program throughout the world, uh, according to the Financial Times ranking. And in particular, when it comes to things that boutique business schools like, like us um, can do uh, in particularly good, yeah, so um, student service, interaction with students, helping them, boosting their careers, then we are in particular strong. Yeah? So um, in the student satisfaction ranking of that Financial Times ranking, we are actually number three uh, worldwide. And when it comes to career service, we are number seven um, worldwide. Besides that, we have pretty much in our DNA, I would say, um, the topic of entrepreneurship. I know that like every university loves to talk about it um, and that's fine and fair. But um, I believe we can really look on a track record that is kind of amazing on the topic and is also reflected in rankings when it really comes to um, the entrepreneurial spirit of, of programs where we are also ranking number one according to the startup radar. Um, and why is that deeply rooted in our DNA? Well, we were actually founded by merchants. Um, so founders themselves of businesses and then they actually founded their business school to, to educate the next generation and this was also the main idea when HHL was refounded and it's therefore also part of our mission statement that we want to educate entrepreneurial business leaders and this translates, I will show that in a moment, in very successful startups, so actually half of the unicorns ever created in Germany have been founded or co-founded by HHL alumni, which is pretty amazing as we are really a very, very small uh, school with just 750 students at the time. Yeah? Um, entrepreneurship for us also comes with responsibility. Yeah? So that means we want to educate people in good leadership, in teamwork, in sustainable, taking sustainable actions. Yeah? So not just going, let's say, for the short-term optimization, short-term profit, but like really measuring, reflecting yourself what your actions uh, actually have in terms of a longer term impact. Yeah? And then the people we want to educate, they should be effective, which means we want to give you the top notch tools that you need out there, either for founding your own business or for being a successful consultant or for maybe also joining a corporate um, or a bank and, and pursue a successful career over there, yeah? Okay, so this, just as a little bit of an introduction, maybe one last sentence, which I forgot. Besides Leipzig, we have two more um, uh, campuses, one in Cologne and one in Munich. Um, but I have to say the full-time uh, students, no matter whether we are talking about the Master of Science MEM program, or whether we are talking about the MBA, um, for, for all those students, the main campus uh, is the one where all the lectures and activities happen, so in Leipzig. But for everyone interested in part-time studies, you can actually choose between the three study locations we have. Yeah? So you can also pursue your studies in Cologne or Munich. All right, so then let me move on. Um, some more facts over here, although I believe um, most of them is something which I have already covered. Yeah? So we are um, a graduate school, this I didn't say so far, which means that we do not have any bachelor programs ongoing. Yeah? So we are really concentrating on graduates and on offering excellent teaching, excellent service for people that want to pursue um, a master degree. Um, and we are a university, which means that we have also doctoral and post-doctoral uh, education and uh, degrees. Yeah? And due to the fact that we do not have undergraduates, um, as I also already said, we are rather small, yeah, with roughly 750 students at the moment from around 65 nations. Yeah? So I, I hope this, this count that I have here is, is, is more or less correct, but I believe um, it's, it's always in that range of 60 to 70. Yeah? Um, and this being truly international is also something that is reflected in the accreditations that, uh, that we have. Yeah? So 
people also in, in the US are well aware of us. We were the first German business school actually having AACSB accreditation, which is the which is the American standard. And as I also said, in terms of rankings, um, we are doing pretty, pretty fine for being a smaller boutique business school. Okay. Let me elaborate a little bit more on that um, idea or the buzzword of entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah. Um, so we are really not just saying it, we saying it, we are meaning it. Yeah. So what we have, let's say, in the ecosystem around HHL um, is an incubator, which is the digital space, something which we um, just started in a, in a very structured new design um, last year um, and where our students, but also applicants from outside can actually, if they have a good business idea, they can go there and take part in, in uh, sprints to further develop this idea. They get a lot of input from alumni that have already successfully founded businesses they get um, input from the faculty, obviously, and there's a whole team um, surrounding you during, during that sprint. Um, and I think they are now in the second batch and it's a really, really successful uh, program. And then something which we have had already for a very, very long time is the spin lab, which is an accelerator. Yeah? So once you're sure that you want to go further with your idea, you have a, you have a team you have actually founded the company, then this is the place to go um, where you will get in contact with business angels, with venture capitalists. You also get a lot of support again from, from alumni, from the faculty. Um, and this is something that is now very, very established as it has been grown for roughly a decade already. Yeah. And on the right, you can see kind of in some numbers the, uh, the success that um, HHL alumni have had uh, in, in founding new businesses. Yeah? And now, no worries, I'm not, I'm not reading out the companies here, but I believe um, also if you are not from Germany, there is some stuff which uh, might be known to you, yeah? like, like Trivago. Um, that's, that's actually something which was even co-founded by uh, our current dean, uh, Stefan Stubner. Um, website for, 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 for travel booking, yeah? Auto One Group, Delivery Hero, I believe those are also um, some that, that are known internationally. And there are many, many more which uh, did not make it actually to, to that slide due to space reasons. Yeah? Okay, so this as a little bit of an introduction, let's say what HHL stands for, what's our basic idea and let's say the setting that you will find here. Now in the second part of the presentation, I would like to go uh, really into our MEM program, yeah, because this is actually what uh, this talk here is about. And I'm starting off with the fact that we have two different tracks available. Yeah, So we have the general management track, um, from which Chris Table is actually from. And then we have the finance track where we uh, today have even two representatives with Sam Rudi and, um, and Fabian. Um, and for both of them, what is first of all the same is that we want to educate uh, people in those two tracks in everything that is about really management and business competencies. Yeah. So also in the finance track, it's not about like um, educating the next generation of analysts for the sellers of, of, of some investment banks, but like really always, no matter in which direction you, you go in terms of your expertise, um, it should be always connected to the broader set of, of strategy and corporate development. Yeah? And this is what this very first part is actually about. Yeah? So everyone gets a very um, thorough base in business administration and economics. Yeah? We have, for example, an integrated case study going on. Probably the, the students can, can then also talk about that and, and tell you how this, let's say, builds up and, and reviews um, knowledge that, that, that you need on a, on a broader basis. We talk a lot about leadership, um, how to lead yourself, how to lead others, 
how to, as I said, reflect yourself in courses like business ethics. So really building, let's say, um, a broader horizon and then um, bringing into that really some practical and also international and cross-cultural experience by running a student consulting project, which is obligatory for, for everyone in the, in the program, for offering um, spots and a lot of uh, support in figuring out uh, doing internships. Yeah, so there are two slots throughout the program where you can do that. And there is also a study abroad term, which we will cover later on um, for, as I said, international and cross-cultural experience. Yeah, so this is something which is the same for both of the tracks and and should really bring everyone to to the level that you are like very fit when it comes to management and strategy. And then you can combine it with the track that 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 suits you best. Yeah. So in general management, there are actually four deep dives offered. Yeah. So um, I think also Christable will will talk about this a little bit more in a, in a moment. You can choose two of them, but I don't want to. Uh, say too much about that already um, and then you have the finance track where we really dig into the topic of corporate finance and where we let's say connect the dots of strategy and finance yeah? because there is no good strategic decision um, without a thorough financial understanding of of the impact that the decision may have yeah but this i believe is something where where some rudy will give us some more information on Okay, so this as a quick introduction um, into the setup. And on that slide, um, we have actually, let's say, at least at a glance on a very high level, uh, tried to um, try to depict what is the schedule of that program. Yeah, so it's a two-year program. Actually, you can be quicker if you like. Yeah, so you can do it also in twenty-one months, but then you would need to get rid of one of those internship cycles. Um, usually people um, take take 24 months and then they have, as I said in the beginning, the general management essentials. So all our students can well tell you something about that because they have actually just worked through that part. Yeah, so to, uh, through pretty much everything that uh, that is general management essentials. And then after half a year, we are actually going into the deep dives and this is where the two tracks then deviate and in parallel in that um, in that spring term as we call it as yeah, so of the month seven to nine so to speak there is also the student consulting project ongoing where we have many corporate partners that are coming to us with real life business uh, challenges that they would like to to get examined, analyzed, and and get recommendations on uh, by our students. Yeah. So maybe just to name a few from the uh, from the last years. Um, so Porsche is, for example, one that that is pretty often coming to us. Dow Chemicals is another one. Um, Edgar, if 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 people know that consumer goods company, uh, pretty famous in in Germany. And beyond that, also many, many alumni with their startups or startups, I, startup ideas, which they want to get challenged. Yeah? So it's always like a, a very, very nice mix of, of topics there. Yeah? And then afterwards, um, there is actually the study abroad term. And around the study abroad term, depending on which university you also choose, you have actually time to take one or two um, internships. There are even people that are managing to do three. Yeah. So if you find, uh, let's say, a partner university, and we have more than 140 of them that offer something which is pretty short and also stuff like that is possible. And then actually students meet back uh, in Leipzig again for another round of deep dives um, in their in their tracks. Yeah? So this is then what is happening in the second half of the second year, where you have, again, some more um, classes in those deep dives, and then you finish off with your master thesis. Yeah? Okay, so this is a quick overview on the schedule. And here we have uh, also on a very high level,
collected um, information about our study abroad options. Yeah? So what you can see uh, from here is that we have roughly 150, uh, 140 partner universities um, all around the world pretty much. Yeah? Obviously the, um, uh, the, the majority of them are in Europe, but we have also pretty strong ties and connections to the US and, and to Asia. Um, and, and also some, some very, very good ties to, to Latin America, actually. And um, we have just selected some of the schools which you see at the bottom here. Yeah? So Chicago Booth is, for example, um, a partner which we have ever since. So I'm also an alumnus of, uh, of HHL 10 years ago now, I, I'm afraid to say. Um, and, and I, for example, took my study abroad term at, at Chicago. And it's, as I said, something that's very established and where we always uh, send two of our students uh, to. But there are also others like Imperial College in London and, and many, many more. Yeah? And besides that, if you are interested in a double degree, that's also something which we, which we offer um, the options uh, available you see here on the on the right yeah so if you have questions on that let us know in the Q&A um, and either we can tell you directly or connect you with someone from our international relations office all right so that actually brings me um, really into the program in the very first part of the program which um, are the general management essentials and the business competencies. And here now I'm, uh, I stop talking because that is probably best um, explained by someone who has just recently uh, ran through it. So I would like to hand over um, to, to Chris Tablet to, to give a little bit of an idea and maybe of, of her experience of that, of that first, um, of that first uh, months that, that you have spent at HHL. Uh, so thank you, Professor Schweiter. So uh, when we look into uh, the general management uh, course over the period, we have first the general management essentials as previously mentioned, where uh, both the finance track and the general management track will uh, uh, take part in and uh, study the curriculum. So here, uh, the basic idea is that uh, you not just learn the concepts and theories, but you also challenge these concepts in uh, real case studies. For example, if you take the integrated case study, uh, we work together as uh, groups on uh, real life uh, case uh, studies, and we uh, developed uh, uh, solutions to address the problem and also presented it in uh, front of our uh, faculty and uh, we also have an uh, interesting dive into the leadership and reflection perspective and if this leadership and reflection is something that is unique because uh, HHL uh, fosters uh, developing not just uh, professional uh, business personnel but also uh, responsible leaders who can uh, shape the business field. And we have uh, subjects such as business ethics and problem solving and communication. And we also has the entrepreneurial uh, university. We uh, look into the entrepreneurship uh, side and we have the entrepreneurship and agile working methods where students come up with their own ideas, develop business models and uh, create groups and uh, establish that uh, in uh, front of the faculty and they even have the chance to uh, proceed further uh, with this entrepreneurial idea and moving on to an a very interesting that some of you uh, might be uh, consider it a lot interesting would be the business uh, competencies when you talk about business competencies here is the internship and the or the student uh, consulting project where uh, you have a flexible time uh, between the course of your uh, studies to uh, go into an internship as well as a student consulting project. The second one would be the study abroad uh, term where uh, like uh, you can select as much as universities as you want, uh, not much, but uh, from the wide uh, amount of universities, partner universities like among the 140 plus universities, uh, you can select uh, the one that you like uh, to uh, pursue one exchange uh, term abroad. 
And if we see the deep dives uh, model, yeah. So for the general management, we have like uh, four deep dives. Uh, from strategic management, we have the financial decision making, the transformation management, and the digital entrepreneurship. When you see, for example, the strategic management, you uh, challenge the global strategies, the global uh, strategy concept, and also the global companies. We also have a lot of uh, interaction with the uh, uh, guest lectures who come and also from uh, different uh, companies who uh, also share their views about the global strategies. And uh, for example, I've selected the global strategy as one of my uh, deep dive uh, specialization. And at this level, the student can take like uh, two uh, uh, deep dive uh, uh, courses. Uh, from the four offered and you have the financial decision making as well where you have corporate valuation and talk about the mergers and acquisitions and the transformation management where it is interesting to learn about how innovation plays an important role in the entrepreneurship world and if you talk about the digital entrepreneurship uh, it would be very interesting for people who are uh, looking forward to pitch in their ideas where they could actually develop their ideas and you have faculty to guide you through these uh, uh, through your idea step by step where you would be able to understand the legalities involved and how you could further venture your idea into the real uh, business world there is also add-ons that is that would be like uh, you can either select from the remaining uh, two deep dives or you could have an extra course from your uh, study abroad program or your, the international uh, study trip uh, and you also could also have something called the open course which is the corporate social uh, responsibility uh, courses and uh, one of the interesting things here is like uh, HHL offers a wide variety of uh, subjects for you and by the end of the two years I am pretty sure that uh, you will be able to have an eclectic knowledge and you would not be the same person as you were like before you joined the course you would be uh, enhanced and uh, shaped into a, a professional who is responsible and who has also an entrepreneurial insight into the topic and the final one would be the master thesis which is also a flex a mandatory part and the timing for the master thesis is quite flexible and where you focus on the research article or you go and write into a research uh, paper now uh, i would hand it over for uh, a brief uh, talk on the finance track okay thank you very much um so yes the, that's that's pretty much the general management track and then let us have a quick look into the finance track. It's actually a rather new program. Yeah, so actually uh, Fabian and Samudi, which, which we have here in that session, they are part of the first batch. Yeah, so it's something which we uh, just introduced. And the basic idea of that uh, finance track is actually, as I told you already, um, is to connect an interlinked strategy and finance. Yeah? So therefore we are pretty much interested in what we call corporate finance. That, that means making good investment decisions, making reasonable financing decisions and understanding how to distribute then also value in the best way possible. Yeah? So obviously if you want to concentrate on something like that, you have to, um, put other things a little bit aside. So we are definitely not, um, uh, or we do not offer a program that is like super deep into financial markets and, and institutions, for example. We cover that as we have to cover it um, whenever it, it concerns corporate finance, but that's then pretty much what it is. It's really about the connection of strategy and finance and enables you to go afterwards into investment banking, consulting, um, or also joining corporates or founding your, your own business. Okay, this just as the brief idea. And now I would like to hand over to, to some Rudy. Maybe she can tell us a little bit like um, what, what she is going to cover now in, 
in her upcoming studies uh, of the finance track, what are the courses, what does she already know? One has to say that um, she is just at the beginning of that, but still I would like to hand over to you um, to share some experiences. Right, thank you. Um, so I actually chose the finance track because um, I did my bachelor's also specializing in finance. But when I saw the um, courses and the subjects that are covered and the finance focus at HHL, they are perfect because they go way beyond the bachelor's curriculum. And then they prepare you for front and mid office roles at say investment banks or financial services companies where you have to deal with clients a lot. So um, as Professor Schreider rightly said, I mean, the focus is on corporate finance. So we'll be uh, focusing and drilling down and getting a lot of skills when it comes to modeling and valuation, also um, in, in financial analysis per se. And um, what is very interesting is that we've got um, guest lectures and case study seminars, for instance, um, directly by corporates and financial professionals from Credit Suisse, for instance, for the capital market theory and investment um, course. And then for the economics uh, of finance course, we've got someone coming from Rocket Internet. So that is super exciting for us as students. Uh, because we get to actually um, ask our questions to the industry professionals and also get a little in insights as to what's happening currently at the um, in the market. So that's super interesting. Uh, some of these courses are restricted to the finance track. So if someone wants to specifically uh, focus on, per se, risk management, then it's better to sign up for the finance track uh, as opposed to the general management track. And um, But otherwise, I think, I mean, uh, HHL is super flexible when it comes to accommodating extra students, so that's really nice. Um, in terms of the add-ons, uh, out of the three add-ons that we see here, which is the advanced Excel modeling, um, the big data, and the case study seminar with financial executives, we have to choose two of them. So I personally went for the advanced Excel modeling because um, when we stepped into the um, program in the start, we had some introductory courses by Professor Schreiter to just um, prepare us for the Excel modeling, to just give us a background. And now with that um, knowledge, I mean, we it gets exciting for us to also, you know, learn and advance our learnings and that. And um, second thing, of course, I mean, I went with the financial, uh, the case study seminars, because like I said, I mean, you have the opportunity to meet everyone who has, you know, been in the same shoes and, you know, conquered all of the challenges that we feel as um, students. And you get to meet these um, executives. So that's pretty interesting. And, um, Finally, I mean, we have to do the master thesis in finance. Um, and uh, again, I mean, it's quite flexible. So in the program, there are three um, gaps where we could do it. And um, we can do it in the summer uh, 2022, or we can either do it in the uh, 2021 as well. So uh, I think um, we can actually meet with professors and you know flexibly adjust that. So yeah, that's the overview. Okay, thank you very much, Samudi. And then let me move on and and continue. Oops, it's working. Okay. Um, so one hint here. I mean, one thing that you can do after this first rough overview, uh, you can actually quickly grab your cell phone, scan this QR code here, and you can get the brochure. Um, or you can also just uh, contact uh, Jana afterwards for some more information about about the program. Yeah, so this as a little bit of a hint, and then let me move on into what to do next after the program. Yeah, so and I mean now we can tell a lot. Uh, let me try to to wrap that up. Yeah, so here we have try to come up with the most important statistics. Um, I guess. Yeah, so what what people are interested in. Um, if you take the average of the last two classes, um, you will see that roughly half of the people, and I think this is also a bit the historic average, half of the people um, that have studied at HHL are actually going into consulting, which means the big strategy consultants pretty much. Yeah? So we have um, tons of alumni at McKinsey, at BCG, um, since we are German, also at Roland Berger, a yeah? German-based consulting firm. Also, obviously, Bain, Carney, and so on and so forth. They are also all coming to the campus to, to recruit um, our students. Probably well, students can then also um, later on tell you something about that. Um, and then, as I said, the topic of 
internet e-commerce founding something is is something that is deeply in our dna and something which you see in uh, uh in those 14 percent over here and going into banking or private equity or venture capital is something which is pretty much on the rise at the moment due to the finance track i mean obviously you can also go into consulting but um this is something which now gains uh, obviously interest yeah okay um, so how are we making sure that you guys find uh, actually the career path you um, you are looking for? Yeah? How, how do we support you in, 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 in prevailing your ideas here? So on the one hand, we are offering and organizing a lot of career events. Yeah? So um, every term or in spring and in, in, in fall when, when all the students are there, we have eight to 10 exclusive company networking um, events where one company is really inviting um, the class. And if you count that their term of three months, so actually it's almost every week, there is one of, uh, one of these events with one of the companies. Usually McKinsey is, is starting off, yeah, so they have kind of reserved the very first spot and then the others are following. Um, we are offering career nights for finance and um, for digital careers, something we started recently uh, due to the fact that we needed to find virtual, uh, virtual uh, settings, obviously, um, in the last year. But this was like super successful yeah, for the finance career night. We have had companies like Credit Suisse, um, Ardian, the PE fund joining us in the next edition. We have uh, Deutsche Bank, for example, with us. So many, many um, great companies that are coming in there. We have specific events for international studies. Although I have to say, and we can also talk about it later on, this is always a challenge because many, many German-based companies require German. Yeah, So learning German is definitely something that you also should do and where we offer free courses uh, throughout, throughout your studies. But still, for um, uh, we also have those spots, let's say, where where companies can offer really international options. Yeah, and then again, deeply in our DNA, there is a startup career fair where mostly alumni come back with their startups and and hire. And there are numerous um, advisory talks going on. And we have a very, very close connection between our career development department and the students. So you can always go there for advice, for CV checkups, for case study trainings, and so on and so forth. So I'm not going in all the details here. Okay, and this, I mean, I, I, I was thinking about whether I should really put it there yeah, because probably everyone is doing this. Um, still, yeah, I, I wanted to show some of the logos, some of the companies that have joined us over the last, I believe, here, last 18 months, roughly, um, so that you have some kind of an idea what kind of companies um, we are talking about. Yeah? Okay, so this brings me after career opportunities to the very last part, which is actually what is they're surrounding this whole program and career thing. Yeah? And this is what we call the HHL spirit, which is something that I believe is pretty special, probably something that I would now hand over to Fabian for explaining how he sees um, the HHL spirit, although you have unfortunately studied many of the months uh, now online, but uh, hopefully still you, you got a grasp of that and you can also give us a little bit of an introduction into um, into the student initiatives that are ongoing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you, Max. Um, yeah, as you just learned, I mean, um, many students at HHL are interested in, in, in strategy consulting. And nowadays, it's uh, not enough to have like really good grades and a good school. You also need to be active, um, you know, around uh, campus or, or kind of engaged. And I think HHL really offers a great environment for that. Um, so we have a growing number and uh, a large number of student initiatives, which are really active. You will um, get to know them in the first week of your studies where they all pitch their initiatives and then you can decide for, for one or actually more if you want. And I personally, I, I joined the HHL Venture Capital Club because that was what I was really interested in. Um, but also, for example, the Accelerate Conference is, is a a really great event where where many um, high ranked entrepreneurs and 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 yeah professionals come. Uh, the European Ivy League is supposed to be really fun. Um, 
and we have numerous other um, initiatives. Also, if if you don't, you know, th these are obviously not all of them. But if you feel like there is a the need for an in initiative, you can also found your own one. We just had one uh, founded that is so new that it's not even appearing on the presentation. Uh, it was just founded two weeks ago by by two students. So, uh, you know, if you feel there is is the need for a new organization, then uh, you can do that too. And you're um, supported by by students and you're supported by the staff obviously too so for example at the venture capital club we we make use a lot of the the alumni network and uh, we an, invite i think alumni almost exclusively from v from the vc industry we had you know big early stage funds like capnamic like like uh, early bird um with us already this year and and we continue to to bring you great um or bring our our members great uh yeah, guest speakers from these topics. And then also one very interesting aspect that I've seen is a little bit on the rise is the student competitions or like the case competitions. So I have personally actually um, participated in one um, where we from the finance track had like a team um, that was the financial modeling competition, which we I think um, went went pretty well. Um, then we uh, the P and G CEO challenge. I think a team from our from our uh, class also took. Um, then uh, numerous other challenges. The Stern Stewart Hackathon. I think uh, one of my my classmates from the finance track. I think he won it. So we we also have that environment. And I think paired together, this really makes like the the spirit um, of HHL. I would say. And I can only recommend everyone to to. If you if you come to HHL to join, uh, obviously the Venture Capital Club. But uh, if you are interested in other things, then definitely join one of the initiatives because this is like I think the the, the icing on the cake on the HHL experience. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so then let me um, wrap up what we. Oops, sorry, how it should work. Let me wrap up so that you guys also get some questions. I mean, um, presentation or something we can sh we can share afterwards um, about our alumni network. Um, let me actually stop here uh, with um, our invitation to the virtual campus day, um, which we will have on the 6th of March. Um, and again, you can simply sign up here by, by scanning the code. We will have um, further talks on the on the different tracks um, where you get more information um, also about the application process how that uh, how that works and you will also have some taste lectures from the different uh, from the different tracks and you can meet uh, with our program marketing team you can you can meet with uh, people from our career service and so on and so forth yeah okay yeah so then let us stop here and um, would be great if we get some uh, some of your questions. Beautiful. Thank you so much, uh, Max, for that great presentation. I know we don't have a ton of time for questions right now, but uh, you guys did give a ton of information during that <laughs> presentation. Um, everybody watching now just know that you can go back and rewatch this presentation. So I definitely suggest that um, as well as if you missed that QR code, um, you can always just rewind and, and get it then. Uh, if any of your questions didn't get answered. Um, but I know one thing that I definitely wanted to touch base on, and, and Ayana, we could start with you and, and move around a couple, and this might be our, our one question, um, but really getting everyone's perspective on Leipzig in, in general um, and, and what you love about the area, because I know that's such an important factor for people when they're considering programs is where they're going to be. Yeah, um, of course, um, I guess uh, not many of you know uh, Leipzig. Uh, Leipzig is um, a beautiful city uh, located about one hour south of Berlin. And uh, we have an amazing student life here. We have uh, uh, lakes uh, um, uh, around Leipzig. We have a great cultural scene. Um, yeah, it's just, I mean, it's difficult to explain. Uh, how beautiful the city is. Actually, you should come here and, and visit Leipzig. But um, yeah, we love it. And uh, I guess our students as well. Yeah, maybe you can add something, um, our students, uh, to that. Some Rudy, maybe, or um, Christina. Yeah, so I'll just maybe go. Um, so uh, coming from Mumbai, which is, um, I mean, climate why it's pretty warm and cozy. Um, I was really happily surprised because Leipzig right now, if you see outside the window, it's snowing and it's really futuristic. It's a 
page from one of the you know <laughs> Christmas story tales, and um, I think I mean just like Jana said, I, it's got a lot to offer in terms of you know cultural setting because there's a lot of museums and churches. Of course, they're closed during this time, but you can see them from the outside. They're really um, very beautiful. So um, I think I mean I can only recommend this place as a study location. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, to add on to that, like, uh, yes, uh, it is, uh, as uh, Samrudhi has said, uh, it is a very uh, good location, especially if you're an international student coming from uh, a different place and obviously you'll uh, miss that home feeling. Uh, Leipzig actually gives you that home feeling where even a simple walk to the grocery store uh, would be like, uh, something uh, uh, relishing and it will uh, freshen up your mind and uh, uh, currently as she said like the weather climate and also the amount of museums and uh, other cultural uh, activities available here it would definitely be a very good place for to study as well as to explore beautiful Great, thank you guys. And and yeah, I know we're, we're a bit short on time, so we are gonna go ahead and close up here. Um, I do suggest that anybody that still has more questions, uh, reach out to anyone on the, on the chat. You can use LinkedIn, uh, they provided um, some links to use the QR code to get in, uh, get in contact. But as you're, as you're kind of deciding this next step in your life, you wanna make sure you're, you're getting feedback from those who have gone through it, as well as those who are very familiar with the process. Uh, don't do it in a bubble. So, so please reach out if this presentation has shown you everything. It's that every one of these individuals are willing to talk and are excited to talk. Um, so we definitely hope you will. Um, but I do want to thank everybody on the on the panel today. You guys did a fantastic job. And, and also thank you to all of our viewers. Uh, thank you for the questions. Um, and, and thank you for your participation. Um, but we will go ahead and sign off. And uh, thank you, everyone. Have a good rest of your night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much.